Welcome to the lesson on obstructive shock. In this video, we'll discuss recognizing obstructive shock. Obstructive shock is similar to cardiogenic shock in that the impaired heart function is the primary abnormality. In cardiogenic shock, the contractility is impaired, but in obstructive shock, the heart is prevented from contracting appropriately. Common causes of obstructive shock are cardiac tamponade, tension pneumothorax, congenital heart malformations, and pulmonary embolism. Obstructive and cardiogenic shocks are most easily distinguished by the contractility of the heart. In obstructive shock, heart contractility is normal, although pumping function is not. Cardiac tamponade is associated with muffled heart sounds, since blood is present in the pericardial space. Pulsus paradoxus, for example, a drop of blood pressure on inspiration, may also be present. Tension pneumothorax is a clinical diagnosis. The trachea may have deviated away from the side of the lesion, and there are absent breath sounds over the affected side of the chest. Consider a pulmonary embolism when the individual is cyanotic and or hypotensive, experiences chest pain, and has respiratory distress without lung pathology or airway obstruction. Risk factors of obstructive shock include obesity, hormone use, family history of abnormal clotting, and coagulation factor abnormalities. This concludes our lesson on obstructive shock. Next, we'll review responding to shock.